What is going on everybody, Ramsar here, and today I want to take a moment to address all the questions that keep popping up in my comment section regarding the new Battle of the Game. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it because there's a lot to cover. And just a note, if I don't answer your question or there's a question that you have that's not answered in this video, feel free to leave that uh, question below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Starting with the release date. Now, I already told you a couple of videos ago that January 23rd will be the official release date for Battle Z. Uh, there's a slight update with that. Turns out that's the release date for Japan only. And um, they just about two days ago announced that we will be getting it. And by we, I mean the rest of the world. We will be getting it January 28th, 2014, five days later. So mark that down in your calendars. Will the game be available on next gen consoles, Xbox One, and PS4? The answer is no, but not a complete no. And the reason why I say it's not a complete no is because uh, both Sony and Microsoft have stated at one point that they will try to release digital versions of a lot of Xbox 360 and PS3 games over the course of time. So is Battle Z going to be one of them? I guess it comes down to Namco, Bandai if they want that to happen. But as of right now, there are no uh, next gen plans for Battle Z. Will there be GT characters? The answer is no, not even in DLC. Speaking of DLC, there will be DLC characters. We don't know who yet or how soon we'll be seeing those, but there will be DLC characters down the line. Can you charge your key? The answer is yes and no. So you can charge, but that's actually part of a charge attack. So you can power up, but it doesn't fill your key. To fill your key, you actually have to either connect melee attacks or have your support characters give you energy. Again, you can't transform during the middle of a battle and you cannot play as the giants. You can only fight the giants. If you pre-order the game, then you will receive Super Saiyan Bardock and Super Vegito. Uh, as far as Naruto Goku, that will be available with every single copy, every single first day copy of uh, Battle of Z. Once those codes run out, there is no plan to release the Naruto form Goku as, as a future download. So if you want to get him, make sure you get the game the first day it comes out. Will the game follow the Dragon Ball Z storyline? The answer is yes and no. It's going to go from the Saiyan Saga all the way to the Battle of Gods uh, movie but it will be slightly altered so it can fit the 4v4 battle system. And yes, both Bills and Whis will be playable characters in the game. Will there be character creation in the game? The answer is no, but you will be able to customize every character that you are liking, from attacks down to the colors of their shoes. Will there be a demo release for this? The answer is yes, but probably sometime around January. I'd say early January, late December. Will you be able to spam attacks in multiplayer? The answer is no. They actually did a great job balancing the game, so you don't have to worry about that. Multiplayer will be actually a lot of fun. Will Gogeta be in the game? Uh, the answer is I don't know. But I have a strong hunch that we'll be getting Gogeta, Giant Janemba, and Super Janemba as a form of DLC characters in a DLC side story in the future. And the reason why I think that is because Namco did state that there will be a lot of what if scenarios and side stories in this game. But so far they haven't revealed much and they're running out of character slots. So it only means that if they do release these characters, that it will have to be in form of DLC. But I guess we'll see. Stay tuned for that. This next question came up a lot. Can you play with uneven teams? Meaning, can you do like 1v4, 2v3, etc? The answer is yes, you don't have to play 4v4 every time. If you want to do 1v4, then you're free to do so. And while we're on the topic of that, there is no local multiplayer in this game. Meaning, if you want to play your friends, you each need an Xbox or PS3, a TV, internet, and a copy of the game. You can't play in the same room together on the same screen. Will there be combos in this game? The answer is yes. You're still button mashing like in all the previous DBZ games, but you will be able to connect each of those attacks with your rush attacks, super attacks, and over attacks. Will the PS Vita version be the same as the console version? The answer is yes. The only difference though is this is not going to be available in the physical copy. So if you get into PS Vita, you'll have to get the digital version of the game in a PSN store. How does Battle Z compare to previous DBZ games? The answer is it's a combination of uh, Tenkaichi 3 and Raging Blast 2. Uh, they essentially took the best of both worlds and they crafted this game. So if you like Raging Blast and the Tenkaichi series, then you will really, really like this game. And the final question, yes, there is a learning curve in this game. Unlike Raging Blast 1 and 2, which was kind of dumbed down so anybody could pick it up and play, and Ultimate Tank HE, which was completely dumbed down, you will actually require to learn how to play uh, Battle Z and get good at it. Which means there will be different skills for each player that you come across in the online world. So that's actually very, very exciting news. So that covers every question that I've come across so far. If there's any other questions that you guys have, then feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer it. If I don't know it, then I will answer it as soon as I find out. But if I missed anything, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll be sure to address it. The question this week is, who is your least favorite character in the Dragon Ball Z universe and why? Leave a comment below, make sure you say why, and I will put the answers to the end of my next video. 
And one last thing, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to blast that like button with a Kamehameha wave. Hope you're all doing awesome. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget to stay tuned to the end of this video for last week's answers.